questions for reflection. On this Wednesday of the 18th week of the year, we hear more from the book of the prophet Jeremiah in our first reading. Reassuring and tender words spoken from the Lord through the prophet in letters to the exiles in Babylon. Listen to these beautiful words of affection from the Lord. I have loved you with an everlasting love, and so I still maintain my faithful love for you. I shall build you once more. Yes, you will be rebuilt, virgin of Israel. Once more in your best attire and with your tambourines, you will go out dancing gaily. Once more you will plant vineyards on the mountains of Samaria. Those who plant will themselves enjoy the fruit. Yes, a day will come when the watchmen shout on the mountains of Ephraim, Up! Let us go up to Zion, to Yahweh our God. For Yahweh says this, Shout with joy for Jacob. Hail the chief of nations. Proclaim, praise, shout. Yahweh has saved his people, the remnant of Israel. As the book continues, Jeremiah is used by the Lord to offer to Israel the promise of a new covenant in the years ahead, with the coming of a Messiah. Not only are these words addressed to the Israel of old, they're words addressed to the new Israel, the church. And because we are members of the church, they're also addressed to us. The Lord says, I have loved you with an everlasting love. Do we really believe the Lord loves us? He does. Whenever we doubt it, look at a crucifix. The Father sent His only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, who sealed this promised new covenant with His blood. With his outstretched arms, this Messiah embraces the whole world. Our response for today's Holy Mass is not a Psalm of David, but more from the 31st chapter of the book of the prophet Jeremiah. The Lord says, I shall change their mourning into gladness, comfort them, give them joy after their troubles. The promise of the Lord was not only for Israel, but through Israel, it was the Lord's plan for the whole world. God loves all men and women. He loves you. He loves me. And when we begin to perceive and receive this truth, when we open our hearts and lives to the love of God, fully revealed in Jesus the Lord, our mourning is turned into joy. The Gospel for today's Holy Mass, we hear the wonderful story of the Canaanite mother whose daughter is afflicted by a devil. She cries out to Jesus, Lord, Son of David, take pity on me. My daughter is tormented by a devil. Jesus was traveling with his disciples through the territory of the Gentiles. As he explains, he came first to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Yet the persistence and the humility of this dear mother moved the human and sacred heart of the Messiah, Jesus Christ, by her persistence and humility. Jesus says to her, woman, you have great faith. Let your desire be granted. And then we read, and from that moment, her daughter was well again. We need to grow in our understanding of the ways of prayer, including this kind of persevering prayer. When I was a young man, I had a wonderful Franciscan priest who taught me much about persevering prayer. Newly married, I thought I had the worries of the world flooding upon me. And when I didn't see quick answers to my prayer, I grew confused as to whether I should even continue asking him. He told me with such practical wisdom, pray until what you seek is given, or the Lord changes your mind about what you are asking. Now, at 65, I still remember that wisdom, and I pass it on to you. Prayer moves the heart of the Lord.